Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say we need to look for s for an oil lamp lamp because we've got an oil tank. Um, if only, if only Lord Moncalf was useful. Sorry, I forgot his name for a second. If only Lord Moncalf was useful and just like tell us, hey, you know what? I actually keep an oil oil lamp in the study or something useful to that effect. Hmm. Okay, I feel like we've milked as much as we can from this room. Chandelier? No. Lamp? No. What about that lamp? Whoop. Whoop. I also wonder what we're meant to be doing with this axe. Ooh, yeah. I feel like if we could pick that up and somehow provide it electricity, it would be so useful. But then again, I think a lot of common sense pro- Ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. Axe, always a solution. No, never mind. Also, the timer's running out. Uh, knife. New. Um, candle. Candle. Why didn't I think of that? Because it's the wrong answer. Why would Why would I use a light to to light a candle? I don't know. Um. Pipette. Um. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Whoa. Crazy. I did not think that's what that was for. I thought it was an oil tank that you put into, like you either you either attach it to something or you pour the the, the oil into something else. I didn't think it was actually a candle of sorts. Oh, that's crazy. Game, you crazy. You cra oh well. I recognize this room. You mean there was a ladder down here this entire time? That ladder most certainly was not there before. I checked this room thoroughly. I clicked on everything. Okay, um... Do we... Ooh, rope, okay. That's good, we can make a noose for ourselves when, um, we don't want to die by explosion. Um, okay. Okie dokie. Another knife! It's exactly identical to the one I already have. Um, hmm, I feel puzzled. I know we can probably go out that door, um, but I just don't want to right now, if I'm honest. If I'm brutally honest, I just uh, want to see if I can find anything useful in this room before we head out. I was not expecting that useful thing to be... Uh, a piece of rope? Hold on. Was it actually a piece of rope? Wait, is, oh, yep. There we go. Rope. Mm hmm. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna have to brave the, the world? Alright. Okay. Um, can we take the lamp out? Would that make a difference? No. Um, wow, this place has been completely overturned. Where am I Impossible going? Impossible to push this door. Ooh, ooh, what's in there? What's in there? There's a thing. This. Oh. Here it is, the ooh. infernal bomb. Sorry, right, I'm really jumpy right now. I'm really jumpy because I don't want to die. I feel like I should have saved. It's okay, we didn't. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. Save real quick. So, yes, I want to save the game. <sighs> okay, I need to zen out. I need to focus on my breathing. <sighs> and not die. That'd be helpful. Is my audio still recording? Yes, it is. That's a good sign. Uh huh. This is a. This is a stack of This container TNT. is too firmly attached to be unlocked. Falling on the bomb, it lights the fuse for the dynamite and sets off the explosion. 
Okay. This high pressure boiler is a clock bomb, but I can't stop it. Why not? Why, what happens if you just let the pressure out in a different direction? You know, you just puncture a hole on one of the other sides. Not meant to knock the filter into the microphone. That's a bad thing to do. What if we just use the axe and, you know, just uh, do that? This high-pressure nope. boiler is a clock bomb, Ooh, but I on. can't stop it! Hey, what is this? This high-pressure boiler is a clock bomb, but I can't stop it! I was just thinking, we've got a new thing to add to the axe. Let's try it. This handle moves in a regular manner and will soon put burning oil right above the dynamite. I'm pretty sure that's not how you set off dynamite. I'm no explosives expert, but I'm pretty sure dynamite does not get set off by burning oil. But that's just me. Also, the burning, the burning oil would get cold. This handle moves in a regular manner and will soon put burning oil right above the dynamite. Okay, is there anything I can do to interact with this stuff? Um... Oh, okay. Uh, axe. Axe, 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 axe. No! Uh, knife, perhaps. To stab it open? No. Okay, um... Burn it open. Chance? No. Alright. We gotta find something to open that. Which most likely is a hammer. Some description. The problem is it's really dark in this room. Okay, hammer, hammer, on the wall. I don't know why I said on the wall. Um, hammer, hammer, on the floor? Nope. You know what? what? Let's check this room. Let's check the room filled with stuff. See if it's got a hammer in it. Or just, you know, something to that effect. I don't understand why we can't use the axe. Um, right. What could we possibly do? I mean, I'm- right now I'm thinking of just jamming something into the gears? Or the cogs? Stopping that regular motion? My face is still creepy. Bottles, books, things, statues, relics, things that are very important, I'm sure. Is there anything up here on the top shelf? Nope. Anything on the ceiling? Nope. I didn't think there would be, but it's always good to check. Actually, did we check the ceiling of the other room? I don't think we did. Uh, there we go. Ooh, we didn't check that door, did we? There's nothing to no. do there. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like being put under pressure. I know the countdown timer isn't exactly going very quickly, but still, but still, I don't, ah, uh, I feel like there's way too much pressure on me right now. And I need a hammer. I've never wanted a hammer so badly in my life. Uh, so, cubby hole, searching the ceiling. Nothing is on the ceiling. Okay, let's see. I mean, there's no sign of interactions, but then again, I've been deceived by that before. This handle, this handle moves in a regular manner and will soon put burning oil right above the dynamite. This container is too firmly attached to be unlocked. Falling on the bomb, it lights the fuse for the dynamite and sets off the explosion. I don't understand. I'm just gonna leave it be. Which is probably wise when dealing with dynamite. Um, also, that's a very small amount of dynamite. When you're trying to blow up an entire mansion, I get that there's a there's a chamber like right next to us which uh, is filled with gunpowder, but still. Ooh, ooh, hang on, hang on. Can we interact with that specifically? No. This handle moves in a regular manner and will soon put burning oil right above the dynamite. I also noticed there's a hook. It's almost ready. Almost ready for what? What are you planning on doing, sure? Oh, hang on. Where is that axe facing? Okay, we still need to do something with the box. Uh, cups. 
What if we... This container is too firmly attached to be unlocked. Falling on the bomb, it lights the fuse for the dynamite and sets off the explosion. I'm a little bit confused as to why... Um, Sherlock has a bunch of balls. And plates. And things. Anybody else? Anybody else wondering why he picked that up? I know some of you know. Um, okay, so we have... Ooh, 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 okay, something interacts with that. No. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, candle? Knife? Ooh, hold on. There you go. No. Cut the knife. I don't understand why we would do that. Uh, bullet? No. What if we did use the dish? I mean, I don't see any logical reason why we would why we would attach the dish. Hang on. Wait a second. There are two different symbols there. There's one symbol to move. See, there's that, which is different from our holding a pipe symbol. And there's one symbol to interact. Okay. I am so confused right now. Uh, I mean, I know sometimes... Sometimes the, ob the, the answer just stares at me point blank and I just don't see it. But I don't feel like that's the case today. I feel like... I'm looking for a very strange leap of logic. Ooh, we can come back up here. The problem is I'm fairly certain I picked this place clean. What if we use the knife to open some of these cabinets open? Actually, I think this is the only one that's still standing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, ooh, ooh, box. Can we pick up that box? Nope. What can we do with the box? Is it interactive? No, we just pick it up. What if we stand... What if we need to get to a even greater height? I know Sherlock's a really tall guy. I think he's like six foot something. Okay, okay. We, we add something to that. Bowls? No. Plates? No. Candle? No. The oil lamp? I feel like letting go of that's a bad idea, though. Bullet? It's a really fancy bullet, by the way. I don't think I commented on that earlier. Have we used everything? Did I use the knife? No. Well, I might have. Just didn't have any effect. Okay. So what if we need another box, then? What if we're just stacking boxes upon boxes? Um, to what end, I'm not entirely sure. Um, hold on. Hey, there are boxes over there. Let me at the boxes, man. I want the boxes. Oh, oh. Grab that thing. Nope. Vase, vase, however you want to pronounce it. One of those things. Grab a knife because a spare knife will always be handy. Sherlock is an expert at two sticks, so surely he'd be able to transfer a lot of those skills over to two knives and just dual wield daggers and absolutely decimate anybody. Oh, hang on. What about now? Oh, and the timer just went down a little this bit. This pressure boiler is a clock bomb, but I can't stop it. No, that's clearly not It's almost thing. ready. Oh, oh, okay, okay. What, why is there a pipette there? Okay, do we, do we add something to the pipette? No. Um, or should I say pipette? Ah. My eye is itchy and I need to scratch it, but I also need to find something to, to add to this box. Um, okay, so. Um, right. We found a use for the pipette. I feel like we need something... I don't understand what he's doing. Initially, I thought he was going to put a candle there and burn the rope so that he could run away while the rope slowly frayed and snapped, and then, yay, salvation for all? Maybe we just need another level. But what? What do we put on top? 
it's gonna have to be a smaller box of some description this, this container and something to hold a candle. attached to be unlocked falling on the bomb it lights the fuse for the dynamite and sets off the explosion okay so the oil falls lighting a fuse still not entirely sure how that works but okay let's go with it Ooh, that that's a candle holder that's also a candle holder there are so many candle holders everywhere why can't I take them okay it needs to be in that room that's my logical conclusion that's my logical conclusion doesn't mean it is the right conclusion but there's got to be something in here that we're missing I really am just drawn to the big shiny things that's what I want to click on most but I know it's not going to yield any results Anything here? No. Okay, 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 okay. Well, it's not really okay. I'm just saying okay to comfort myself right now. I've got, I've got nothing. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Sherlock, just start running now while you can. Oh, oh. This high-pressure boiler is a clock bomb, but I can't stop it. That's nice, Sherlock. That's nice. Neither can I. Shall we high five over over our inability to stop high pressure boilers? I feel like we're so close to the end. There's no point in me ending this episode right now just to ask you to to chip in your solutions because I feel like if I do that, the next episode is just going to be like a 5 minute um segment showing, "Hey, we stopped the bomb. Game over. Roll the credits." Um we need something and I don't know what and I don't want to look up the answers either. Uh, what if we just flip through this handy dandy little dynamite user's guide? How to stop a bomb in case of an emergency? Oh, whoa, 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 that is the wrong button. I think I'd get used to that by now. You know, I'm fairly certain there's still something behind there. I feel like. I feel like there's gotta be some sort of secret lever to pull, and that just flips open and reveals hey. Here's um, some dynamite neutralizing agent for you. Well, it looks like there's something in this pedestal. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? A what? A batcher? I don't. I don't understand what a batcher is. Hold on. Doesn't matter. We found something. Let's see if it does the trick. I've gone a little bit too far. Um, right. That way to the bomb. Oh, oh. I may have to shorten this episode for time purposes. I mean, a lot of it is just kind of me running around, not doing it. Ooh! Okay, now what? Ah, uh, okay, the batcher attaches to the containers. Interesting. Please tell me we put the candle in one of these. It's almost ready. Okay, and we put the cup in the other one. It's almost ready. And then we light it, and then we run. Now let's hide somewhere. Uh. Oh, that's so clever, Sherlock. See, there is a method to your madness. And here I was just thinking that you were plain old insane. Again. Welcome, sirs. Ah, our party is complete. Oh, my dear Holmes, I have just spared you a lot of unnecessary investigations. Lord Moncalf never killed himself. He was murdered by his cousin, Jonathan Parker. I had the chance to escape the same destiny. Would you be so kind as to tell me how you deduced it? Oh, yes, well, I think you'll be surprised. After reading the message you sent to me explaining your absence, I made an inquiry on my side. I remember the well-known scientist, Lord Moncalf, and his shady case, an unsolved robbery in which one of his cousins was involved. Uh, to tell you the truth, this man was not very honest. The police had quite a black record on him. After returning home, I found a letter. At first, I thought it was yours, but in fact, it was not signed by anybody. However, it confirmed all of my suspicions. Here, uh, have a look. I know that you are looking for truth in the disappearance of Lord Montcalf. The last mentioned was murdered by his cousin, uh, Jonathan Parquet. You will find the body of the deceased in his own manner, under the bandages of K. Parseth, mummy. 
and the guilty one on the place of crime, probably pillaging his uncle's collection. Yes, quite an interesting study. I'm ready to reveal the mummy, but before I do, it's necessary to ask its master. Let me introduce you to Lord Montcalm. What does that mean? My yeah, I was about to say, Watson, who's this guy standing next to me? completely groundless. The only difference was that Lord Montcalf was never going to die. That is, really. But why on earth not? Father? Good heavens. And Elizabeth just casually wandering around the, Here is the his manor. daughter. What a coincidence, isn't it? Let me just run over the course of events, and you can contradict me if I go wrong. My charming soon-to-be cousin has asked me to investigate the disappearance of her father. For this reason, she invited me to study the mansion. In fact, the idea was much deeper. I'm very thankful to you, miss. I now have the evidence that the mummies can walk. Watson, do you know how mummies were made in Egypt? No, oh, indeed I do. They used bandages and balm. Can you explain what this joke is all about? Do you believe in ghosts, Watson? <laughs> of course not. Although they are really useful to move away the intruders. Jonathan Parquet didn't notice that and has lost his life. Is he dead? Indeed, Watson. Killed by the mummy. Oh, come on, Holmes. You're joking. It has nothing to do with jokes. This manor that had to be empty was the meeting place for the whole family. A mummy, a lord, his cousin, his daughter, and your servant. All of them trying to kill each other. A charming company. In short, I think Miss Moncalf has lost a shred of her dress there. While Lord Moncalf, the most dead among us, is safe and sound. What are you trying to say? Dear cousin, I doubt that the mummy exists. In fact, if it had tried to kill Lord Moncalf, it would not have left human fingerprints on the gun as it has done. By the way, I'm obliged to say that it was you who fired that gun. Your hand still has traces of the powder. Miss Moncalf dressed up as a mummy. This child loves so much her father that she decided to follow in his footsteps and her father refusing his daughter's vacation. Oh, it was a sad case of murder indeed. Then why was there a need for your services to make you guilty? Who would believe it? I thank you for your confidence, Watson. But Elizabeth didn't know her father was alive. Rather, she was looking for four statuettes he possessed. To find out the cause of death, I would have inevitably found these statuettes, which he had hidden in the manor. The only thing left was to kill me. And it was Jonathan's task, the cousin. And it was an easy task for him. Elizabeth and Jonathan? In a plot to kill and steal? There are families where murder doesn't mean anything. Lord Moncalf is not so innocent in this case. He was not content with making everyone believe in his suicide. He filled his manor with deadly traps, and he hid in his caves the most valuable archaeological pieces that he saves for his own private use. He's ready to kill to protect them. What stupidity is! You're just a desecrator who's not even capable of understanding the priceless value of these pieces. However, I have never wished for their destruction. Nonsense! I know that you're taking me for an old fool. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but I'm the only one here who really has his head on his shoulders. Do you think I didn't understand the meaning of this bloody ballet around the statuette? I understand your distress as you realize the combination of the five statuettes that you hold could free the evil forces. But you have already taken a gruesome way to death. You believe in reincarnation, then. Why not in immortality? Your paranoia has taken you into delusion, and your doctor's treatment has confused your judgment up to the point of disguising yourself as a living mummy and committing a murder. How can you make such accusations, and how can you believe such absurdities? Indeed, I don't believe at all in the power of these statuettes, as I don't believe in stories about curses. But I know a sect whose members were ready to kill to get them back. One of the executors was Parquet. Scoundrel! But their leader is Elizabeth Montcalf. Lord Montcalf understood that, and in his madness he was divided into two. Into a living mummy to commit the thing that was against his blood instinct to destroy his daughter. What a tragedy. Human nature, Dr. Watson. You should see that every day in your patients and your vacations. Tell me, Madam Watson, did she have a good rest? Well, yes, but keep in mind that these vacations were shortened by a strange case, which began with some strange noise. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm really glad. I'm really glad it's finished. Ah, oh, my throat's killing me, but I do want to use the last shred of it to say thank you for watching till the very end of Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Mystery of the Mummy. Hopefully, 
I wasn't too unbearable in my stupidity and idiocy and just downright confusion, I guess I should say, uh, throughout this entire game. Oh, special thanks to Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So who saw it coming? Who saw that it was Elizabeth? I mean, it was pretty obvious. It was leading up to it this entire time. Well, not this entire time, but throughout the second half of the game, Shred of Cloth, uh, signed Elizabeth, the woman's handbag, the woman's heel stepping on the glass. We knew that there was a woman walking around. We knew, well, we had good reason to believe that it was Elizabeth because there aren't that many suspects presented to us. Um, and, of course... I did put forward the suggestion that Moncalf was alive and that he had faked his own death, which was true. I didn't expect both of them, though. I mean, that's what I gathered from the end uh, kind of monologue that Sherlock gave. I didn't really expect both of them to have been playing the mummy around about the same time. I found that was really interesting, and I found it really interesting they were all trying to kill each other. I mean, I figured, I do remember putting forward the theory that Moncalf had uh, faked his own death and then lured people in to kill whoever tried to, to get the treasure because they were probably trying to kill him. Um, so there was that theory. But I thought it was kind of an either-or situation. I didn't think it was really going to be a matter of all three people presented to us were suspects. I didn't think it was going to be Parky, Elizabeth, and Lord Moncalf. That's interesting. That is a really interesting story. And thank you to Frogware for coming up with such a fantastic game. And it's a shame the credits were so short. Um, well, actually, no. It, it just shows how amazing it was for such a small team to put a game like this together. Really awesome stuff. And I will be doing the next games, um, the following sequential games. I think the next one is The Mystery of the Silver Earring, if I remember correctly. Um... If not, you'll see whatever Sherlock game comes next, and I do plan on doing all of them eventually. I think I need to take a little break from this universe first, let my brain rest, and do some other uh, slightly more mindless video games um, than ones that actively engage my puzzle-solving centers. But I hope you guys have an awesome day, awesome time, however long until I next see you, and I hope we get to see you again sometime soon. Bye.